work to help us. Power off. No good deed goes unpunished in the Sun community. We're going to give you a hard time for trying to help us. The stores are being ransacked across the country, or rather the city. The country and the city, actually. Here, check yeah. this out. So these are shelves that are pretty much empty at the CVS in Columbia Heights near the metro. Yeah, you may have seen this in your neighborhood, too. It's part mm -hmm. of an apparent organized crime wave, a wave of organized retail crime across the D.C. area and the country. Employees at the Columbia Heights CVS in Northwest tell Leslie Moreno, people walk in and out with bags and boxes of stolen items every single day. Customers walk out in disbelief. I was just sitting there with nothing in there to, to buy. It's been happening frequently, uh, six months to a year. Food, diapers, makeup, and medication people rely on gone. Like myself, I get medication there and it's gonna be off to go anywhere to go anywhere else to get my medication. You know, this is the closest place you can go in. Employees say the store was ransacked two days in a row in broad daylight. Staff say thieves target the store on new shipment days and steal merchandise before it even makes it Look onto the store shit. shelves. They do have a security guard. However, they're trained to protect people, not items, and thieves know that. Older guys, it doesn't matter any age, they come in, they just get trash bags full, they just take anything, everything. And they leave a mess behind. Not only they just stealing stuff, they destroying. They just popcorn and peanuts all on the store, all on the ground. It just look horrible. Hannah Weatherford just bought a house here. She sees the crime every day. I'm reconsidering selling and moving out because it's it's getting worse. We get people. Now she's a taxpayer. So now she's moving out. And now that's less money for your fucking programs. And she'll vote for a Democrat somewhere else. So there's that awesome yeah. win yeah. as well. Yeah. People getting killed here in front of the Metro. Stores being robbed every single day. You cannot find food. Back in May, thieves were caught on camera ransacking the CBS in Bethesda, pulling makeup and other items off shelves, filling trash bags and walking right out. In many cases, products stolen by organized retail theft rings end up being sold online or even on street corners. Some employees at the Columbia Heights location suspect items from their store end up across the street, sold on sidewalks for less. And that's yeah, facts. Bold as fuck. I've been, I've, I've been on this block a, a thousand times. They literally sell this shit a, a caddy corner. So like across the street the corner across the street is a target and they got a bunch of guys with stands out there selling tide and lotion and all that shit and it came right from that cvs for less i think it's enforcement i also think uh the infraction is not like hard so it's just oh it's a slap in the hand the most recent incident happened this morning. An employee Man. tells me he saw three pregnant women walk out of the store with boxes of diapers. When we walked in to assess the damage this morning, we saw a man stealing shaving cream and razors. We did reach out to CBS for a statement. And now guess what happened? Of course, CBS will be closing a busy store in the heart of a Northwest neighborhood. This after thieves stole. So of course now they're closing. And now the black people will be they're going to be calling CVS racist in, in two years because they won't invest in their neighborhood. Hundreds of items in, in two Iraq minutes. We first told you about about three months ago, and this is video of what those shelves look like right after. All right, Bob's in Columbia Heights this morning with, uh, with the CVS and what some local customers have to say. Bob? Hey, Steve, Marissa, those shelves look pretty much the same. The store just opened, and if you look in there, a lot of the shelves that were cleared off in October remain bare this morning. I want to show you that video again. Uh, this is just one of many of these kind of retail thefts that uh, we've documented here in recent months on Fox 5. Uh, this is the store at uh, uh, 14th and Irving Streets here in Columbia Heights. CVS, in a statement to Fox 5, isn't saying why it's closing the store, but... Uh, it's CVS, the statement of Fox 5, isn't saying why it's closing the store. Because they know if they say the real reason, they will be branded as racist within exactly. two minutes. Exactly. So they got to, like, just fucking, if they, when, if, when they press them, they got to make up some other shit, uh, the economy, uh, some shit. Uh, 
it's just three months after this happened here. Uh, the main thing CVS is saying that it's going to uh, transfer its customers' prescriptions to the CVS store in Adams Morgan on Columbia Road, noting that's only about seven-tenths of a mile to the west. There's another store on Georgia Avenue about a half mile uh, to the east. But customers who we've spoken to this morning realize there's probably a good reason why this store is being closed. I guess it's better off safety, usually, if they're getting robbed a lot. You don't want your employees to be put in a bad situation. So you don't blame them for closing? No. Another taxpayer. Not at all. I don't blame them. I would. It's pathetic. It's very sad to see that the behavior of our, the, 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 our next generation to be destroying properties, putting people's... Ma'am, they said it was old dudes going in there stealing too. They literally oh. said old dudes. <laughs> Bro, I, oh, some people always trying to exonerate themselves like they were. I ain't even going. You already know how I feel about this shit, bro. I mean, come on, man. You awesome. wasn't like this. You wasn't like this back then. <laughs> All the fathers was in the home. We had black people on the streets. I think it's ridiculous. It's really ridiculous. Now, others we've spoken to say they don't condone what's happening uh, to these stores, but they can understand that there is, in some cases, desperation here in the community. And you guys mentioned it earlier in the show, just yesterday, the D.C. Council considered on first reading that to secure D.C. legislation, one of its provisions would crack down on retail theft. Mm, mm, mm. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Just 